My basic training was done in vitro retinal surgery uh, 20 years ago. I, I was trained in Semmelweis University and also in the Harvard Medical School between 95 and 96. And since almost 20 years, I'm, I'm coming here to Svetivit and doing uh, mainly vitro retinal surgery. The main uh, field, the main type of surgery we are doing here in vitro, uh, in vitro renal surgery, they are uh, most of the diabetic patients. Most of them have, they have a lot of uh, uh, ophthalmological complications, so they, they will need, sooner or later, they will need some type of surgery. The second most common what we, uh, disease what we deal here in, in, in Svetivit from the vitro retinal surgeon point of view is the retinal detachment. Uh, in the same time, the macular degeneration, it's, it's, uh, it's a very uh, often disease. Uh, everybody which is a little bit older, you can, you can face this, this issue and it's a, it's a bigger problem for, for everybody. Mainly there are two types of uh, macular degeneration. One is dry, the other one is wet. The, the wet type uh, goes with a faster uh, losing of vision, but the good part of this is that we have a treatment for that. This treatment means uh, intraocular injection, which uh, sounds maybe weird at the first time, but uh, it doesn't, the patient doesn't have pain at all. And uh, if we are lucky with the injection, you can, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, preserve, preserve the, the vision of the patient. The anti-VEGF therapy is a very good solution for the wet AMD, but uh, you, we have to know all of them, doctors and patients also, that uh, usually in average the patient needs a three injection every year, maybe more, maybe less. And this is not a lifelong solution. They will preserve the vision for five, six years. So we gain time with that, but it's not, a, it's not the last treatment of the, the wet AMD. In the other hand, we have the, the dry type of uh, DCMD. The dry type, it's a little bit better because the, the diminishing of the vision, it's much, much slower. But uh, sooner or later, the patient will lose the, the ability to, to read and to write, which uh, can make his life uh, much, much more difficult. But uh, in this moment, I'm, I'm also very happy because we have also some kind of treatment which will help the patient in this condition. There is a new type of lens designed by the half German, half Hungarian doctor who, who lives in, uh, in Germany basically. And, but the lens was developed in, in Hungary in the same time. It's so-called chariot uh, macular lens, which helped the patient and make the patients able to read even with the with dry uh, macular degeneration. Uh, one more problem which may can uh, occur, especially in, uh, in big myopic patients, it's similar with the AMD, but, uh, but the treatment is slightly different. Usually they need also the anti-VEGF therapy, but usually one injection would be enough. Uh, this is also helpful for, for uh, myops, which are uh, over 12. You can see this qu quite, quite often. And with other, without VGF therapy, the vision will be diminished very, very fast. But at the moment, we, hopefully we have this, this uh, treatment and uh, we still can use it for them.